Hi, welcome to our lesson for today. We are looking at systems technology and we'll be focusing on security as well as performance factors. Now, the first thing that we're going to look at are some of your security features. Now, the first security feature is about access control. Now, when you look at access control, it's actually the identification of a user if the user is valid so that the user can have access to a system. Now, how does a user gain access? It is by using usernames, passwords, or sometimes using biometric devices. Now, another way is controlling of spyware. Now, why is it important to control spyware? Now, spyware is basically um, one of the malicious software. Now, when you control this software, you prevent harm on your computer as well as preventing exposing your computer to viruses and hackers. Another security feature is Edway. Now, Edway is another way of exposing your computer to some malicious software by actually causing unwanted advertisements in banners or in pop-up windows. Then we're going to move on to some more security features. Now, the next one is firewall. Now, a firewall will act as a barrier between your computer and the internet by doing what? By warning you about some malicious software or someone that is trying to gain access to your system. Another security feature that we're going to be looking at is backup. Now, backup allows us to keep copies of original data in case the hard disk crashes, your hardware fails, stolen, destroyed, or if files are overwritten, deleted, or corrupted. And the last one is your antivirus software. Now, what the software does is it identifies, quarantines, cleans, as well as removes infected files. Now, it needs to be updated regularly because new viruses are developed, and hence it also needs to up update its database. Now, if you look at this picture, it shows you that you can actually get access of this picture by uh, actually going to the control panel. And this picture shows us more about your firewall and you are able to actually see here what they define a firewall as. They say a firewall helps to prevent hackers or malicious software from gaining access to your computer through the internet or a network. And all of this you are able to actually find on your computer. Now let's look at risks that are associated with input devices. Now risks that are associated with input devices such as key logging software. Now this software is a software that uses a keyboard monitoring software. Now this software records every keystroke hit by a user from different websites that were visited, logons, and even software that were used. Now, this uh, software basically will be hidden and will be in an unknown file. So you wouldn't even know that there's a software on your computer that is busy recording your keystrokes. Now, let's look at some more general troubleshooting. Now, we're going to look at defragmentation. Now, defragmentation now simply explained is after you're using computers for a while while you install uninstall or delete application it causes files to defragment now what is defragmentation now after using your computer for a while installing uninstalling or deleting applications it causes files to be stored in different locations in the disk. Now, defragmentation is a utility that is able to fix this problem by moving these files close to each other while speeding up access to the file. 
Now, if you go to your disk defragmenter, this is what you'll be able to see, and then you'll be able to choose and uh, be able to defragment your disk. And you can see here, you can configure some schedules there, and then you can start defragmenting your disk. Now moving on to disk scanner. Now what a disk scanner does is it detects and repairs damaged files as well as fix errors to improve performance. Now let's look at what factors influence the performance of your computer. Now, if a number of applications are running on your system, it allows multitasking. But now, if you have more programs running at a time, it can cause your system to actually be slower. Now, this also depends on what each program is doing. Then we have catching. Now, catching is memory that stores recently used instructions and data and enables a processor to access data more rapidly than from the RAM. The CPU searches for data first from catch, then RAM, and then from the hard disk. Now, lastly, the influence of malware such as spyware or trojans and other more is simply meant to give unauthorized access and can lead to maybe making your system to be slower, missing some files, and causing some frequent reboots. And that is it for our lesson for today. Thank you for joining us. Goodbye.